Hi, Aquarius. Welcome to Rays of Hope, Rainbow Light, Love and Healing Tarot. How are you? Thank you for returning and keep following me. <laughs> so appreciate it. And those of you who have just arrived, um, please join my channel. Thank you so much. So here we are today. We're going to be doing a love reading for twin flames, soulmates, romantic relationships. Maybe you're romancing your own life. So let's see what the energy is guide what energy is guiding this reading for our Aquarian is okay. So I think you're looking deeply into your life, Aquarius, right now. Trying to make some changes in your life. Yeah, I think that it's time now for you to definitely look deeper and take a risk. Note that uh, I think I mentioned this last week. Venus is in retrograde starting tonight and we'll be here till September 3rd. So anything that was wrong in any relationship from the past or the present, it's time to make it right. And whatever, even if you're not with that person, you're with someone new, make it right now. So whatever you're doing in a relationship now, do it as your best so that you can heal the past, all the timelines, every past life, uh, because every relationship that comes into our life is about healing and about clearing the past. So. Let's see what is in store for our Aquarians. What is the energy guiding this reading? What is it? The heart chakra. Nice. So we all know what the heart is, right? So uh, the heart chakra is definitely working overtime. It looks like a lot of perhaps opening of your heart, uh, Aquarius. Instead of your mind, maybe you're going to more emotional um, energy. Perhaps you're feeling a little pensive as well. So let's see, what else can our Aquarians be guided to? I'm throwing out three cards here, uh, the crowning of this uh, reading. So what's coming in, what's in the heart, and what is the possibility or probability, because that's what my readings are about. They're spiritually guided and... They're not about fortune telling, okay? So here we got, oh, money focus. So right now your heart is definitely open. Uh, maybe money is affecting your love life right now. Perhaps you're not sure if um, it is going to take you to the next level of your relationship where you are right now with this other person. Or is money causing your heart to kind of not really be in its truth, okay? So your heart and your mind must agree on everything in any situation or any decision you make. And sometimes money can be a, uh, an issue in a relationship, but I think your heart is over uh, feeling it, overthinking. Your heart has a brain too, right? So let's see what happens here in the center of this reading, the heart. What is the crowning energy here? For our Aquarians, awakening, ah, oh, it's beautiful card. Feeling of oneness, surrendering to what your heart wants, okay? Perhaps money was an issue here, and it still is, but to go to the next level, it's something that sometimes, it's not all about money, okay? Anything can happen, anything is possible when two people come together and their heart and mind agree because they create this unbelievable energy of solving problems. Okay, so let's see. This is exciting, Aquarius. So I see here an awakening in your heart, feeling oneness, surrendering. Uh, money might have been an issue, but your heart is opening to possibilities that things could be different. Let's see. In this possible probability, we have the dark night of the soul. <laughs> so know this that the dark night of the soul gives us an opportunity to clear the past it's so amazing how these cards are coming up like this um because it wasn't like this last week but i know it's because of the retrograde venus is in retrograde so the dark night of the soul uh for you aquarians is about clearing the past if you finally awaken your heart to the truth of what you really want the dark night of the soul is nothing but a lesson that you go through, okay? It will definitely uh, create an opening to a new version of love in your life, a new version of you, okay? In love. <laughs> All right, so let's 
Now throw out some tarot, throw out some cards for the tarot, and see what is it that spirits want you to know. Chaniel and Charity are archangels of love, are soulmates of twin flames. They are always here in the reading. Let's see, what is it they want you to know, my dear friends, my dear Aquarians? Okay, let's see. What is it that they would like you to know? What does our Aquarius need to know? Okay, so we have the Page of Wands. We have, that's in, coming in, in the heart of the reading, we have the Wheel of Fortune. And then we have the Six of Cups. Okay, this is about memories, reunion, past love. So here in this next row here, I feel that... Um, there is someone, um, there's a fleeting love, messages, excitement, perhaps. Uh, this person, uh, you might not think has enough money or to support you, but maybe you've always supported them in the past. Uh, in the heart of the reading, the Wheel of Fortune is here. To me, there's definitely a fate and destiny here with both of you. Uh, there will be a change in your love life if things have not been working out. And know that... Um, this person is from your past, perhaps even a past life. This is definitely a memory, a reunion of past love. Okay, so let's make the wrongs right. Your heart is open. It's in the right place to definitely dive in. Okay, Aquarius, dive in with your feelings, not your mind. Okay, but your heart and your mind agree. That is the catalyst for any relationship. Okay, for anything you want to do in your life, even the best relationship you could have is with yourself, right? And once you have that relationship with yourself, you love yourself, well then, that's the relationship you give to others, and you'll get that in return as well. So here we go. Let's see, what else can we guide our Aquarians in? Okay, we have the Ten of Cups, beautiful union, um, happy satisfaction, uh, even with family, I feel here you haven't, you definitely know this person from a past life and he's been in your life, in and or she, in and out of your life. There's definitely the Knight of Swords. This is someone who's definitely sweeping off, sweeping you off your feet again. Your heart is open to them again. You're, you've seen that they've come back and returned. And it's a full circle of the Wheel of Fortune here in the center of your heart showing me that uh, there's definitely going to be harmony and satisfaction and perhaps in the past they didn't have enough finances or together you didn't have enough finances to have a future okay so let's see here and then we have the moon but there's still some uncertainty and some illusions and maybe some complications in the relationship right now uh perhaps you there's a distance between you as well but let's see here what else is going on here for our aquarians all right my friends stay with me stay with me here we go for our Aquarius. We have the Page of Cups. So we have the Ten of Cups, the Page of Cups. There's definitely this person's come back from the past um, or even a past life. There's definitely some happy surprises. There's love. Um, there's a visitor. There's a message for you, um, Aquarian. And here we have the Five of Wands. So right here, we're needing to choose a path, okay? Uh, waiting for some future planning and I, I really do see that where money might have been a problem in the past uh, it might still be but there's needing to choose a path of which way this relationship is going to go there might be some waiting that needs to happen all right so let's see here some uncertainty and maybe you know it's a little complicated right now but it's definitely promising this is the best reading so far on someone who's going from the past to the dark night of the soul into awakening all right so let's see here Let's see what else can we tell our Aquarian in this message. Chamuel and Charity, Archangels of Love. It's the Eight of Wands. There's definitely going to be a sudden change. Yeah, a rush of love for you, Aquarian. That's, that's your heart is open. It's definitely working. So uh, let's just keep going with this reading. I'm loving it so far. This is the best reading so far I've had. Um, let's see what the Lover's Path shows. To clarify these rows that we have here, I'm going to throw a card for each row and clarify it and see uh, what Archangel Chamuel and Charity would like you to do. Here we go. We have balance. Oh my goodness, beautiful card, beautiful card. 
there's balance here in this relationship. Um, there will be, there was, you are definitely um, honing in, your heart is honing in. Oh, we have the Princess of Cups again, your heart, yes, definitely gifts, messages, um, dates, um, happy surprises are coming, your heart is waiting for it. And right here, the Three of Arrows, so know that whatever has gone in the past um, will be resolved, the sun is shining through again. Know that the awakening is a real thing for you, um, Aquarius. So please stay right in the rhythm of this energy. It's really, really important. And the Three of Arrows is letting you know that you can overcome anything. Anything that happened in the past in this relationship, um, you will overcome it. It definitely is going to definitely resolve itself. The dark night of the soul is over for this, okay? It looks like it's going to definitely mend itself because of the work that you're doing, all right, that you're both doing. Or uh, I should say that you're allowing uh, that person to be in your life again. Or they could have just stepped away for a little bit. I don't know for sure. I don't see a definite card saying that it was over or that it was ghosted. I don't feel that. I feel like it's a constant, you know, a relationship that is, you know, never on or off, but it's always there. It's trusted. New beginnings, definitely a new beginning coming for you. Um, forget about the past, you know, and, and let's just make a fresh start again like you have here. The sudden change of love, there's a rush of love and a new beginnings. Um, so keep going and control, okay? So let, let's not have your heart control anything anymore, okay? There's no such thing to control. Um, if you control something in love, it's not love, it's possession, right? Aquarians, we don't want to control anyone. Allow love to make the changes that you need, because if you allow, let the love create that, okay? Um, you won't lose yourself in love as long as you know who you are, okay? Maybe you're trying to control your heart to not lose yourself, but if you know yourself, Know yourself well and open yourself up. Open your heart up to you as well. Okay, so let's see here. Um, okay, so sometimes in the past, um, from what I see in this card, there might have been some unrequited love. Okay, so sometimes you might have felt a lot of pain in loving this person so much. That it was unrequited but now it's definitely on the men's here definitely changing for the better and I think that it's just a matter of time before you start seeing and feeling this so let's see what the final card is for this reading for our Aquarians personal message that the angels of love want to give you what is the final message for our Aquarians in this love reading Lessons in life will repeat until they are learned. So in love we learn, and so never have any fear about that. Okay, Aquarius? So you stay safe, be well, and stay in love. Bye-bye now.